So the severe risk is expanding now as we head into Thursday. We've got an enhanced area that we're watching across parts of Wisconsin, the upper Midwest, into the Great Lakes. We're going to look at that in the video today, and we're going to talk about what's driving these strong thunderstorms and how it looks like that risk is starting to grow a little bit as, again, Thursday is going to be a big deal, but we're also looking at Wednesday too. We're going to talk about that risk that's from the Dakotas south into parts of Nebraska, and we're going to look at the broader weather picture too because we've been dealing with this pesky upper low that's just been spinning here across the east over the last several days. I think it Kind of feels like this thing deserves a name at this point. It's just kind of set up shop and it's just been around. And it's not uh, it's it's not been going anywhere very quickly. We're finally going to see that change uh, and start to kick out as we head through the week. And uh, temperatures will start to warm up. There's been some heavy rain associated with this too, with this upper low, this cold pocket of air that's just been spinning aloft over the last couple of days. All right, let's look at what's going on upstairs first. We start in the upper levels. This is, uh, in my opinion, the best way to really start to dive into the forecast and kind of the outlook and how things are shaping up. We do have this trough that's swinging into the west. You can see that right here. And around that, you've got a decent jet streak that's swinging through. With that, uh, we're going to watch the severe weather start to break out as it pushes off to the east. Definitely something to keep an eye on. The good news is across uh, the east, as we see this weather pattern start to change, the rain starts to settle down, especially in the upslope areas of the Appalachians. But unfortunately, something is following behind it in the weather world, and that's the severe risk that starts to pick up. First, we'll see our risk again across parts of Nebraska into South Dakota as we head into the day Wednesday into Wednesday afternoon. But this trough, this overall deepening of, uh, of cold air here aloft starts to kick to the east. That's going to drive a lot of instability and that's what's going to really help these storms get going as we head into the afternoon and evening hours especially into thursday now you've got this decent jet streak you can see these highlighted colors here that's some stronger winds aloft and look how everything is spreading out all right so that's good diffluence everything moving away in the upper levels allowing those thunderstorms to evacuate that air that's rising so a couple of things happening here uh, i think you you increase the risk for tornadoes especially as you get up into parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, especially into this region on the front right side of this jet streak. A lot of change of wind direction with height. And we're also going to be seeing this at a, at a dangerous time. So once we get into 2, 3, 4, 5 into the afternoon, you start to get a lot of instability. There's going to be a bit of a cap in place. That's a little bit of warm air aloft and some dry air. Once we start to heat the air underneath it to a certain point, that air parcel is going to want to go uh, boom and explode. And that, I think that's what we're going to see. So with those steepening lapse rates, in other words, it gets colder faster the higher you go up as this chilly air moves through and a lot of strong winds aloft, big storms moving through. All right, let's kind of push into the surface map. There is all that rain. Look at it starting to finally settle down across the Carolinas. Still a few lingering showers as we head into the day Wednesday and we start to see this system go away. And now we're looking at surface low pressure moving through the plains out ahead of this some strong storms again as we head into thursday and then on friday everything moving east pretty quickly we'll rapidly look at that here in just a moment on the, on the radar but again this is the area we're watching heading into wednesday from south dakota all the way down to nebraska we have a slight risk that's a two out of five when you're looking at the risk factor and about a two percent chance of a tornado spread out across this region this would be uh the criteria of, of if anything popping up it's pretty low right it's not zero but we've certainly seen bigger days the the greater risk i think would be on thursday especially again across parts of wisconsin i think you got to watch these storms too as this boeing segment kind of pushes like this there could be some strong winds damaging winds with those thunderstorms and some hail the storm prediction center hashing the hatching this area out so this means that there is a significant risk of severe weather again it stretches from wisconsin all the way down to the ohio river on uh, on thursday we're not done with the severe weather. As this front drops to the south, we're going to see more severe on uh, Friday from really along the Ohio River, southern Indiana, southern Illinois, back into parts of southern Missouri toward the Boot Hill, and then parts of Arkansas into Tennessee and Kentucky. These might sag as far south as northern Alabama, also northern Mississippi. Let's look at the future radar. This will kind of play things out for us. Quite a bit of snow falling, too. I don't want to downplay that. We'll look at that in just a second. It's cold across the Rockies. We've seen a lot of snow into the mountains with this chilly air aloft, but once we head into Wednesday afternoon, you really start to see these storms fire up. This is the newest name. I'm going to back it up and run the one earlier. The newest is actually running right now. Time period really pretty much the same. Heading into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, big storms going across Nebraska. Some of those could be some big rainmakers too, so flooding possible with heavy downpours. Things do settle down some heading into early 
Thursday morning through the early morning hours. Now we're pushing this east, okay? So your front here, low pressure spinning back to the west. You're heating up with the sunshine, I think, heading into Thursday afternoon. Powder keg, if you will, starting to form. And, I, you know, watch out here into Wisconsin. A lot of wind shear, change of wind direction with height, your jet streak swinging through. So tornado is certainly possible here. Also some hail and some strong thunderstorms. That pushes east once we move into the 8, 9, 10, 11 p.m. time frame. And once we get toward midnight, these start to move into eastern Wisconsin, into parts of Michigan, even Illinois, or I should say Indiana, into northwest Ohio once we get toward midnight. So this will start to settle down some as we get toward that midnight time frame, and then they push east and then also into the UP of Michigan. So, But these up in here are going to be a lot weaker, too. Look at the time above my head. This would be in the middle of the night. So... Thankfully, the air will be a little more stable at this point in time. High temperatures uh, as we head into Wednesday, well, they're going to start warm in the morning. Look at these muggy numbers in the 60s. I mean, all the way up to Minneapolis, St. Paul, mid-60s, even to the Dakotas. And we heat up into the upper 80s across parts of Minnesota. Again, a lot of red on this map. Someone called me out on that, and I said, look, it's hot across the country. We've seen 90s, and we're going to see it again, possibly heading into Wednesday afternoon across parts of eastern South Dakota. Hence, that powder keg, if you will, for those severe thunderstorms. And another hot day across Texas and Oklahoma with triple-digit heat across Texas. We're flirting with triple digits in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, into the 90s again. It is hot. We will see some cooler temperatures overall. Look, now you got 40s and 50s moving back into parts of western Nebraska, South Dakota, and high temperatures go from you know the 90s back into the 40s and 50s. So it's red for a reason, and that's because it's hot. It's, it's way above average with temperatures 20 to 30 degrees in some cases warmer than they would be normally this time of year. There's that low spinning here across the Ohio Valley, bringing in a lot of Atlantic moisture still, so the rain will persist as we head into Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. It could be heavy at times into parts of southern New England as that moisture really starts to pick up here. Once we head into the evening hours, though, things start to settle down some. The good news is we are seeing some relief to that heavy rain that we've been seeing across parts of the Appalachians down into the Piedmont of North Carolina and further to the south. And here comes the severe weather showing up on the NAM now as we head into Thursday night, moving quickly east heading into Friday. And now you watch here heading into Friday. Again, the Storm Prediction Center watching this area for uh, severe weather on Friday. All right, high temperatures across the east. Again, a fairly cool night. It's been cool underneath this upper low with the clouds and the rain. Uh, temperatures dropping back into the 40s and 50s tonight. It could be much cooler. I mean, Maine, quite chilly, but we will see another warm day across the deep south. But temperatures held in check, I think, because of the clouds and the rain. We'll start to see a, a things change up, though, as we head toward now by Thursday and Friday. Quite a bit warmer, too. We're back up into the 70s and 80s in many of these areas from the Mid-Atlantic. Quite a bit of thunderstorm activity, though, across the Tennessee Valley, so you can see temperatures held back just a little bit just because of the clouds and out west. It is a different story here. We're cold. We're snowy. Ugh, winter just um, not wanting to let go out here. Quite a bit of heavy snow with this system, and there's another one on the way. This will be the severe weather maker heading into Wednesday and Thursday as it moves east, but look, not before it dumps quite a bit of snow still across the mountains of Wyoming and Idaho, Montana. I think into the Wasatch, we're going to see some snow. The Colorado Rockies, more snow flying here. Maybe a bit of a break the further south you go, but the snow's still going here as the next disturbance moves through the northern Rockies heading into Friday. And I don't know. It, it, it kind of looks like you're going to see maybe a bit of a break, but more rain moving into the west coast. Trying to put some rain down into California. And look at this, guys. More unsettled weather here as we head into, you know, next week. By Sunday and Monday, Snow levels start to drop here again. I mean, we are on repeat. This could bring another heavy round of snow into the Wasatch Mountains, into the Colorado Rockies. Snow levels will look a little bit higher, but, I mean, you know, it's May 19th, guys. So, I mean, you know. And, you know, this could also bring another round of severe weather heading into next week. So, I don't know that we're done with the severe weather. There could be more on the way. So a bit of a live update late tonight. If you're brand new, if you're just coming by, you're just catching the live stream, you can back it up and take it from the beginning. If you're brand spanking new, you've never been to the channel before, I'm Travis. Welcome. Thank you guys for coming over. Uh, I spent years in TV. I used to be a meteorologist uh, years and years ago. I've been out of the business for a while. So if you're looking for a source of weather here on YouTube, I hope you'll consider subscribing. It's, it helps the channel. So thanks to all the OGs. Uh, those of you who have, who have subscribed in the past. And I do see you guys in the chat tonight. Thanks for coming over. I see a lot of names that are familiar. 
I hope all of you are doing well tonight, and uh, I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your Tuesday night, and I'll see you on Wednesday at some point.